Hello again everybody, doing another build video, and in this case I am under the bridge at New River Gorge, it's my camp location. So I'm going to jump right into this one. It's a brand new build after the last patch where they really messed up the usual tricks I used to do spaceship builds or the UFO build, but I actually figured out how to do pretty much most of it again, so without further ado... This is one of my new spaceships. So this one's really unique compared to any of the other ones I've built so far. I'll give you a little tour of the outside first. I've used a lot of things that I've never really experimented with before. And I think it turned out really good actually. So we have the little CD shed, got the communist fences, with the rare wire on the top. You'll notice something rather unique about this one. I actually have curved wings on it, but we'll get back to that. So as you go around the outside, you have like a security perimeter. I'll go back a little bit so you can get a look at the engine section. Not my favorite engine in the world. I've done better, I, I think. I don't know if others agree or not, that's subjective, I guess. But as you go around the outside of the camp... Alright, that's basically a tour of the outside. I'll show you some of the nifty tricks I used once I get up into the UFO part, or the spaceship part. So I'm kind of using this log as a natural barrier. You have to come in around it, up these stairs. I've got a decon arch right by a guard station. Fusion generator is outside to run my fending machines. There's hidden a little rain barrel in the back here so I can collect dirty water for making boiled water with. Uh, a friend of mine suggested I put a stash box right outside by the vending machines even though there's one inside the shed, but I went with his idea. I think it's a good touch. I really like the look of the pristine Voltec armor workbench. It goes good with these builds. I decided to go with the outdoor barbecue type cooking. This is the main entrance to get up to the UFO and power armor station. Again, budget constraints, no toolboxes. Story of my life. Alright, I'll do a quick peek inside of the shed, so... In here it's pretty basic. You got most of your workbenches here. Tinker, chemistry, weapons, you got scrap box and a stash. Cooking station there armor station there. The ship doesn't exactly fit in the little compound I made for it, but, you know. <laughs> Camp sizes are only so big and I only have so much budget to work with. Not sure if you can get a really good look at the nose of the ship or any of it because it's so big. So I'm going to actually jump over the fence and move out a ways. And give you kind of a distance perspective on this. There you go. So it is pretty big. I can't wait to get the greenhouse wall set and roof set because. That will be awesome for putting in windows. The nose of the ship is sloped. I was able to merge these angled walls in a garage door to give a really unique opening. 
before I go inside, it's not really decorated inside that much, but that's the way you get in. You just go up that staircase. I put the chest there. If there's anybody who doesn't have marsupial, they'll have a hard time getting in unless they use that. That's why it's there. So I'm going to hop up here. So you'll see these don't actually attach to the rest of the ship at the front They're by design. Use the tile roof pieces and the tile wallpaper to kind of make it look like heat shielding. Same for the other side. I put this stripe down the middle of it. I was going to change this piece into the steel as well, but it's over the engine, so I figured the heat shielding made more sense. I left it. But this is a fairly long ship, as I'm sure you can tell. at uh, some of the other detailing. Yes, I know these power conduits sticking out of the roof look really stupid, but it's the only way I could get power to go to that door properly. There's one on this side. Speaking of power to the doors, let's hop down here. So you're going up the stairs, and you get this big garage door with a little step to get in. There's actually a switch hidden right here that you can reach from the ground. Now I have marsupial so I don't actually need to use this. In fact I'll jump over it if I try. Then you just hop inside. There's a switch on the inside too if you don't want company. There is a switch on the other one as well, though there's no switch on the outside for this one mainly because it didn't make sense. This is the only set of stairs I got coming in. So there was really no point in putting a switch on the outside of this one. You'd never use it. So up at the nose of the ship we have our pilot's compartment. This particular character does not have the electric chair yet, which I want to put in there as the pilot seat. Once we get the greenhouse set, I'm going to be changing a lot of this into glass, so you can actually see through. Probably the two side panels, the wall behind the console, and the two roof pieces that make that wedge shape, and probably that platform in the middle, just so you can see through. And then walk down the hallway to the back of the ship. So this is kind of different. Um, it's actually two stories. Neither one of them have a whole lot of space in them, and I don't have a lot of budget, so there's really nothing down here except my camp unit. Put some glow-in-the-dark wallpaper for ambience. And then you can go up the stairs here. The engines are behind that wall. And because of the round wings on this design, there's a piece of the roof that sticks through the wall on both sides here. So to cover it up mostly, I used these Red Rocket countertops. Uh, this was a challenge to get in there, but uh, I kind of like how it turned out. It's like a bar-like area, or workstations if you want. You can imagine that these centerpieces rise up for you to grab tools or instruments or whatever. I do have a second fusion generator inside to power all the doodads inside. I really don't think I need that in here. I can probably drop it down to even a small generator. I only need the power for the switches, basically. So, same on the other side, another console place to sit. And a couple beds. This one got my toolbox inside with a lamp on it. These windows will eventually become the glass from the greenhouse set. This is a double wall, so there's wallpaper on the outside and inside, so you can see the overlay between the two panels. But yeah, one of my more unique builds, I have all of the crafting stations you could possibly need. Uh, 
Yeah, I kind of like the back of this ship, even though it's not very well decorated. It has the feel of being in the belly of a spaceship, so I like that. And that's really the tour. Um, not sure how people feel about this one. It is... That's not a great place to land. It is definitely unique. It is definitely hard to build, I will tell you that. I've s I started building the wings here. And then ended up destroying everything around it like six times before I actually got it to go the way I wanted it to go. Like The changes to the build system have made things incredibly difficult for doing stuff like this. It is still doable, so... For those people who want to do stuff like this, keep trying. It'll happen eventually if you get a feel for how the building system works. All that said, I'm going to sign off. I have another ship to show you, so I'll be doing another video really soon after this one. So, hope you like it. Leave comments if you do or don't. And uh, see you next time. Thanks.